convolution property of Laplace transform. If Laplace transform of x1 t is x1s with ROC R1 where x1s is integration of x1 t t to the power minus s t and the Laplace transform of x2 t is x2s with ROC R2 where X2S is integration of X2T t e to the power minus ST then the Laplace transform of convolution of X1T into X2T t is X1S into x to s and the resulting ROC is at least intersection of R1 and R2. ROC is greater than intersection of R1 R2 in case of pole zero cancellation. Now let us assume that yt is integration of sorry yt is convolution of x1 t and x2 t and this yt is integration of x1 tau into x2 t minus tau integrating with respect to tau now the laplace transform of convolution of two signals that is yt is integration of yt e to the power minus st from minus infinity to plus infinity now substituting yt from 3 to 4 so the Laplace transform of yt is integration of integration of x1 tau x2 t minus tau d tau e to the power minus st Now we will multiply e to the power minus s tau and e to the power plus s tau. e to the power minus s tau and e to the power s tau. and this integration is with respect to time t now we will change the order of integration first we'll, we will we will integrate with respect to t and then with respect to tau so x1 tau integration of x2 t minus tau 
e to the power minus s into t minus tau from these two expressions dt and then e to the power minus s tau d tau. Now if we compare the expression 2 with this then this will be Laplace transform of x to t which is x to s with ROC R2. So Laplace transform of yt is now integration of x1 tau x to s e to the power minus s tau and integration with respect to tau. So x to s is independent of tau so it will come out here it is x1 tau e to the power minus s tau d tau. Now if we compare this term with expression 1 then this will be Laplace transform of x1 t that is x2 s with ROC R1 so now the Laplace transform of yt where yt is convolution of x1 t and x2 t is x2 s into this is x1s into x1s ROC of x2s is R2 ROC of x1s is R1 so resulting ROC is at least integration of sorry intersection of R1 and R2 so we can write Laplace transform of Convolution of x1 t and x2 t is x1 s into x2 s with ROC at least in the intersection of R1 and R2. Now let's see one example of convolution property of Laplace transform. Laplace transform of e to the power minus t u t is 1 upon s plus 1 and its ROC is real value of s greater than minus 1. Similarly, Laplace transform of e to the power minus 2 t u t is 1 upon s plus 2 and its ROC is real value of s greater than minus 2. So now, Laplace transform of Convolution of e to the power minus t u t and e to the power minus 2 t u t is simply the product of their corresponding Laplace transforms. And the resulting RC is intersection of real value of s greater than 1 and real value of s greater than minus 2 which is real value of s greater than minus 1. Now let's see one more example of convolution property. Laplace transform of del t plus e to the power minus t u t is 1 plus 1 upon s plus 1 or s plus 1 in numerator we have s plus 1 plus 1 that is s plus 2 divided by s plus 1 with ROC a real value of s greater than minus 1 this is the Laplace transform of first signal 
Now the second signal is del t minus e to the power minus 2 t u t. Its Laplace transform is 1 minus 1 upon s plus 2 or the signal is s plus 2 minus 1 that is s plus 1 in numerator divided by s plus 2 and its ROC is real value of s greater than minus 2. Now in time domain if I convolve the two signals then the Laplace transform of resulting signal is the product of Laplace transforms of their corresponding products of their corresponding Laplace transforms. So it will be s plus 2 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 1 divided by s plus 2. And the product is now 1. So the ROC is entire S-plane which means resulting ROC is greater than the intersections of the corresponding ROCs of two signals. So this is the case of pole zero cancellations where the ROC is greater than intersections of intersection of two ROCs. So this is how we can find the Laplace transform using the convolution property of Laplace transform.